concerns the uh, former chief executive of the post office, Paula Venels, uh, given a CBE a number of years ago uh, for her time working there. But she, of course, was in charge during the Horizon Software scandal. It's just been announced that Paula Venels is to hand back her CBE. Pressure had been growing on Miss Venels uh, to have the honour either handed back, as she has done, or to have it taken away from her. A petition had been signed with over a million signatures asking for her CBE to be removed. She was in charge of the post office when uh, the Horizon scandal developed. More than 700 people prosecuted by the post office for faulty accounting, theft and fraud. Uh, the post office thought that their sub postmasters and postmistresses were stealing money from the company. It turned out that there was a software fault in the Horizon software, which was made by the company Fujitsu, which was leading to there being glitches and errors in the accounting software. Paula Venels was in charge of the post office at the time of that uh, scandal, which has been described as the uh, largest uh, miscarriage of justice in UK history. Now, Ms Venels has issued a statement in the last few minutes. Let me just read you part of that. Uh, she said, I continue to support and focus on cooperating with the inquiry and expect to be giving evidence in the coming months. That's in reference to the ongoing public inquiry into the Horizon scandal. But Ms. Fennels goes on to say, I have so far maintained my silence as I considered it inappropriate to comment publicly while the inquiry remains ongoing and before I have provided my oral evidence. I am, however, aware of the calls from the sub postmasters and others to return my CBE. I have listened and I confirm that I return my CBE with immediate effect. She goes on. I'm truly sorry for the devastation caused to the sub postmasters and their families whose lives were torn apart by being wrongly accused and wrongly prosecuted as a result of the Horizon system. And she concludes, I now intend to focus, to continue to focus on assisting the inquiry and will not make any further public comment until it is concluded. So Paula Venel's former chief executive of the post office confirming that she is returning her CBE with immediate effect. Let's bring in our political correspondent, Gurpreet Nawan, for more on this. So Gurpreet... So Paula Venels has made that decision. When you and I were talking about this time yesterday afternoon, the pressure was building and the Prime Minister was putting his support behind a decision to review whether or not it would be removed. But Paula Venels has made the decision for him. Yeah, and just another example, I think, of how quickly this issue has rocketed up the public consciousness and the political agenda. The pressure on Paula Venels had been growing. A petition had garnered over a million signatures after that TV dramatisation. And then yesterday, the official spokesperson for Rishi Sunak said that he would strongly support the Honours Forfeiture Committee if it decided to review her CBE. But it appears that she's done that voluntarily now, knowing that the pressure was insurmountable. And the government now, key politicians, are looking at how they can quickly provide redress to sub-postmasters affected by this issue. Uh, Alex Chalk, the Justice Secretary, fresh from meeting uh, with the Post Office Minister Kevin Hollenrake yesterday, was has today been meeting the senior judiciary to discuss how the government can speed up the process, the fastest but most unconventional route would be to pass an Act of Parliament that would exonerate all postmasters who were convicted using evidence from the faulty IT Horizon system. Now, that would be the fastest approach. Two former Lord Chancellors, Lord Buckland and Lord Faulkner, have both said that this could be done almost immediately and that it would face almost no resistance in Parliament. Um, another option on the table is to ban the post office uh, from uh, challenging appeals. But what that doesn't address is the fact that one of the reasons there have been so few convictions is because many postmasters simply haven't been coming forward. They're scarred by their experience with the post office and they're mistrustful of the legal process. So uh, blocking the post office in this way wouldn't necessarily speed the process up. Blanket exonerations or allowing sub-postmasters to appeal en masse, which is something else that's being considered might be more effective. 
in that regard and it would unlock this compensation, get the money out of the door for those who haven't been able to access it because they're still waiting for their appeals to be overturned or who haven't even started the process. And that's one of the reasons the post office in recent months has revised down its estimates for how much it's going to have to pay in compensation because so few postmasters are actually coming forward. But these blanket exonerations would, as I said, unlock this cash for all of those sub-postmasters affected. It means a bigger bill for the taxpayer. The government is the post office's sole short shareholder, so it's on the hook for all of this. But Kevin Hollenrake, uh, the post office minister uh, yesterday in the Commons, said that he would consider urging Fujitsu, that was the company that provided that IT system, to cover the compensation if the public inquiry that is ongoing finds that it is partly to blame. It's something that the Prime Minister's official spokesperson also hinted at yesterday, saying that the taxpayer shouldn't be on the hook for all of this. Yeah, and Gurpreet, as you rightly point out, this now leads to, I guess, the... The opportunity to give some further closure to those people who were wrongly convicted for this. But as you mentioned, there are many, many steps and, and factors before we can get to that point where some of those people who were wrongly convicted because of that Horizon software feel like they have been properly exonerated. Uh, where does this go next? Of course, it's going to continue to be discussed, but I guess with Paula Venels deciding that she's going to hand back her CV, that takes away one element that the government would have had to try and address as the public outcry continues. Yeah, and look, Rishi Sunak, he, he, he stopped short yesterday of calling for uh, that honour to be stripped, but hinted really strongly at how he feels about this when his spokesperson said that he would strongly support the forfeiture committee if it decided to review uh, that honour. He's been talking really tough on this, saying yesterday that the government was on the case, but of course, Politicians have known about this issue for decades. Journalists and campaigners have been raising this issue repeatedly. What it, has, what it does show is that it's almost taken this TV dramatisation to really bring this back into the public consciousness, but also to rocket it up the political agenda. And it's only now that the government is considering taking even more radical steps to exonerate these sub-postmasters. And we'll find out in the coming days from Alex Chalk exactly what they're considering.